It took four trips and 117 days of playing Survivor, but Boston Rob finally outplayed, outwitted, and outclassed everyone. And last night, he was crowned the winner of Survivor Redemption Island. The winner of Survivor Redemption Island. And there he is, Rob Mariano. Good morning, Rob, and congratulations. Thank you. Nice to, you know, you had a little chance to let it sink in a little bit. Did you? I mean, did you know? Did you? I mean, you have a pretty good sense that, that this one was finally going to be yours. You know, when when we left Nicaragua, that final tribal council, I had a good feeling. But you know, with everything in Survivor, you don't want to get overconfident. Yeah. And. You know, I was happy once the votes were read. Now, even Jeff Probst said you played as close to a perfect game as anyone has ever played in 22 seasons of this show. I mean, how much of an advantage did you have because this was your fourth go around? Well, first of all, it's a huge compliment coming from Jeff. I mean, someone that's seen every season of the show play out from beginning to end. Uh, I think it could have gone either way from the beginning this time around. And I felt like I used what I brought to the game from my past experiences was able to get my foot in the door, and the people uh, were responsive to that. When you got down to the final three, though, I mean, anybody who's watched Survivor at all knows it's all about making sure you're the strongest one left there at the end. And you had two, but with all due respect to Natalie and Philip, you had two relatively weaker contestants that were there with you at the very end. Was that the play the whole along? Well, of course, all along yeah. Just, I know? mean, that's part of the game plan, is to sit with someone who you think you could beat at the end. Uh, since we're on the early show, I just want to take a minute and thank Mr. Moonves, Mark Burnett, everybody at CBS. You guys have been family to me over the past 10 years. I'm finally happy to be able to get it done, and uh, thanks for everything. Well, you haven't cashed the check yet, so just let's hold <laughs> off on your thing. <laughs> um, now, I mean, didn't you think, though, because your wife, because Amber, who had, who had beaten you when, on All Stars when you finished second, right. who you finally you, you ended up marrying and now have two, two lovely daughters with, did you think that maybe that the votes could have potentially gone against you because someone in the family already won a million bucks? Listen, I'm glad they haven't because for the past seven years, I've had to hear it in my own house, okay? It wasn't so much about the money. She's getting the check anyway. <laughs> but now I'm at least on, on level playing field with my wife when it comes to... Uh, winners in the Survivor household. And the kids got to be happy because now they each got a million bucks, which right, is nice. Right. What, what did Amber say to you last night? What, what, real quickly, you just had a, a brief moment to kind of see her uh, yeah. and speak with her. What did she say to you? You know what was great was that uh, we, we finished filming this back in September, and I didn't tell Amber the, the end result. I actually led her to believe that I was voted off at the final four. Yeah. So it was a, it was a great surprise for her last night. and. You know, I had to keep it a secret for a long time, but I was I was happy to be able to do that for her. Well, last night, you know, everybody talked about the relationship that you had forged with Natalie, how you guys kind of had this, right. this bond right there. Oh, Amber a little jealous at all? Did she no, say, you know, what's my man doing on television? <laughs> <laughs> Natalie was like a little sister to me. She really was. She was very sweet. And you know what? At her age, 19 years old, it was a true testament to, you know, a real coming of age story. So I was happy that Natalie, you know, was able to go as far as she did with me. Survivor and CBS have basically been pretty much your life for the last 10 years. Mm -hmm. You've done this show four times, finally won. Now what are you going to do? I'm actually have a new project I'm starting tomorrow. Don't even tell me it's going to be on CBS. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's Tom Beers on the History Channel, but I would love to continue to work with CBS. And like I said, the relationship has been great over the years. So You think there's any chance, though, now that you've won? I mean, would they no, ever bring I you mean, back for an unprecedented fifth time? At this point, there would be no point. I, I've accomplished everything I've wanted to ever accomplish with Survivor, so yeah. I'm happy with my legacy to where it stands. You want that check, don't you? I You've would been love it. Can we get this I check? Love it. Can we get this check for this for this man, please? Now, this is a big check, which means you're going to have to go to a very big bank to cash <laughs> it. But uh, there you go, young man. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. One very million. Much. Now, have a round of applause for Rob Mariano, Boston Rob, who finally takes home a million bucks after four tries. I mean, if you hadn't won this time, I don't know what we were going to do. But it's been a big weekend. Like Jeff mentioned earlier, the Sox, the, uh, you know, sweep the Yankees. Good weekend. Million bucks Boston. right here. Kids look great. Rob, thanks so much for everything. Thank Good you to see very you. much. Congratulations once again. Appreciate right. it. We'll see if uh, you get brought back for a fifth.